Hello everyone, welcome to MTG 808 Junior. This is Mike coming at you from Arena. Uh, we're coming with an uh, with an artisan event. Uh, for some of us who are new to artisan, artisan is essentially commons and uncommons with the following cards being banned: persistent petitioners, college familiar cavalcade, cavalcade of calamity, and gates of blaze. Uh, we have started using this in our tournaments, uh, our tournaments here in here in Hawaii. Um, yeah, um, we just had our first tournament, our first artisan tournament. So uh, check back uh, at the YouTube channel for uh, the tournament recap. Um, before we get into that, you know, we want to let you know that we do have our MTG 808 Junior WordPress. Um, please check us out. Um, we also have a YouTube channel. Uh, we also have Facebook. Um, you know, we love for you to come check it out. You know, check out content. And if you feel led to support the project, we do have our uh, Patreon. Um, all that information on um, on what what I'm saying will be on the the video the description below. Um, but yeah, our our tournaments are completely Patreon funded. Uh, we wouldn't be able to do this without you. So big mahalos to everybody. So bef now, without being said and done, I mean, well, let's just get into it. I'm coming at you with a mono white deck, so I call this the Soul Brothers deck. So what the Soul Brothers deck does is essentially, um, oops, sorry, um, it essentially runs off of the bro the Brothers, Impassion Orator, and Daxos, Blessed by the Sun. So what they both do is, whenever a creature enters the battlefield, you gain a life, with the exception of Daxos. Whenever a creature you control dies, you also gain a life. And you have all these things that gain your life, like El Seed, other life bounties, a lifelink creature, a healer's hawk, um, both one drops, one one, uh, and they have lifelink. So the question is, what do you do with that life? So um, it helps fuel your payoff card. So we have a Johnny's Pride Mate, two mana for a two two. Whenever you gain life, you put a plus one plus one counter on a Johnny's Pride Mate. Same goes along with. Twin Blade Paladin, three colorless, one white for a three three human knight. Whenever you gain life, put a plus one plus one counter on Twin Blade Paladin. When you have twenty five or more life, it's, this has double strike. And then our last payoff is Gideon's Company. Um, whenever you same casting, same converted mana cost as Twin Blade Paladin. However, whenever you gain a life, you get two plus one plus one counters. Um, and you know, um, the Activated ability, the loyalty ability, um, it's irrelevant. We just want it for the plus one, the two plus one plus one counters. Uh, what's unique about these two cards is you only can find them in the Planeswalkers decks. So, Gideon from the Gideon Planeswalker deck from War of the Spark, and Twin Blade Paladin from the Ajani Planeswalker deck. So these de these cards are um, pretty hard to find. So, but they have been seen at our youth tournaments. So for those of you thinking of getting these cards for our upcoming youth tournaments, uh, you may want to check TCG Player or you may want to check eBay for these cards. Um, but other than that, um, we do have Angel of, Vit Angel of Vitality, um, Flyer, whenever you gain a life, you gain that much plus one as long as you have 25 more life. This is essentially a 4-4 Flyer. Uh, we do our non-creature spells come in the form of God's Willing, which gives, you, gives your creatures protection. Uh, against spot removal also um the scry also helps you kind of set up your next draw and then we have banishing light banishing light is kind of a, a spot removal so you can punch your way in through with your creatures uh lands have 19 planes and three idyllic range idyllic range i like it just because you can add commerce you kind of add a bit more pressure onto the battlefield oh uh, well you put it on the creatures okay now let's get started so let's play. So our bony hand, we have two healers hawk, let's see. Johnny's Prime. Um, I like where this is going, so I'm gonna. 
we're gonna keep. It's kind of, you know, this is kind. This is a, a liability just because it enters tap. But I'm gonna try it. Hopefully, we draw into our th um another a basic plane. So leading here. Ooh, it's a blue red deck. Alright, oh. Cool. Alright, so we're gonna enter it. I probably should put this in. And. Attack with Healer Clock. I know he'll block one, but we can hopefully get this one. And then I'm gonna play a good tap and pass the turn. So I think what this looks like a draw this what this deck does is essentially whenever you draw a second card, you get a plus one plus one counter. Uh it's gonna be pretty hard because then, you know I I can't attack with this. You've never seen anything like this.
let's keep it going. Uh, we'll do three matches. Uh, we do have a few more decks that we would like to showcase. So hopefully we can get that thing going. Alright. a better hand so I'm gonna keep this I think putting a land shit on the bottom should be fine This is coming to Oh, 
about twin blade paladin doing work along with Daxos all right let's get one more game in Aggro deck coming in. I'm not gonna attack. I don't wanna. I uh, wanna be able to uh, block. So I'm gonna let let him have his turn. So God, I would have to. I would wanna get protection from red.
playing I'm think I'm thinking I'm playing this a little bit conservatively. For three awesome um so here's the deck um we'll make sure you put a link to the deck in the description below thank you very much for watching um please check back and again you know we have our our social media outlets instagram facebook um check look us up mtg 808 jr also be, please be a subscriber to our Patreons if you like what we're doing here. If you want to also support the youth, um, you know, even a dollar would help. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Hit the like, subscribe, please. Um, look, and I hope you look forward to more content. All right, we'll see you next time. Peace.